Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Now and Then Some podcast with Robin and Kaylee. I'm your host, Robin. And I'm your other host, Kaylee. And here we talk about everything from now and then. And then some. That's right. And what are we talking about this week, Kales? Time for the weekend recap update. Oh, weekend recap. I don't know. One of these days we'll get it down. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I went to Lake Jackson, like I said, I was uh-huh. going to for Melanie's Melanie and Steve's couple shower. It was a couple oh, shower. Lovely. Yeah. So it was at my parents' house. You know, we have the barn. So dad was supposed to be hosting the men in the barn. Supposed to be? Everyone was mingling all yeah. the time. Like it wasn't separated. Right. Um, but they were like it's 2024, people. They were like, Oh, the men can hang out in the barn. Plus, Mel's not real big on like bridal games so yeah. it's not like we did like the typical cheesy right shower Plus games the groom shouldn't have to be left out of the festivities nope. it was a couple shower Good. everyone hung out and then it ended <laughs> it ended with after us thoroughly enjoying alcohol all day ah. it ended with us singing some karaoke in the barn lovely which like with my core group like once everyone had left and mm-hmm. it was just us and mel and steve and yeah my fan, like the only parents there were my parents in the barn with all of us. And then we were just like reminiscing about good times. And mom was getting all emotional. Like, um, she just gets emotional thinking about how, how lucky I am that I'm still friends with all of these ladies that I've been friends with for so long. Yeah. So my mom was getting all emotional about that. And then we turned on the jams and started singing karaoke. I did a few duets. Nice. Um, me and Carly tackled. Uh, Love the Way You Lie by Rihanna and Eminem. I obviously took the Eminem part because mm-hmm. why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, we did a couple other rap songs like Forever and we all took a rapper's part. Sang Picture, you know, my favorite. Of course. Um, Jenny was down as well. That was really awesome. Um, so it was just... It was just a really good time with all my friends. And I got to spend time with the babies during the day at the shower. And, you know, I always like to spend time with the babies. The best. Um, But I did have a couple other things outside the shower that I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. So on Friday night, um, I went to dinner with my parents. And um, we ran into a couple of dads and moms, old um, softball buddies, so my parents, when I was younger and they were in their 20s, because they my mom was 23 when she had me. My dad was 24. They played in Babies. a couple. Yeah, they were, they were young. Um, <laughs> I have young parents. I think that's why they still can hang. Yeah. Um, they played co-ed softball together, like in, you know, just Cute. like a little rec league. <laughs> and they would bring me and sis, and we were like the only kids out there, and we would sit in the stands and watch our parents play freaking co-ed softball. That's cute. That's a good, like, example. Yes, yes. Um, But what was funny about it is my parents' friend, Meismer, um, who's from Sweeney, Texas, he wasn't on the team, but he was like the, like, I put coach lightly. He pretty much just hung out. It was like all was his like best friends. The on. water boy. Yeah, he's just like, <laughs> you know, the yeah. guy that hung out with all his friends who played the right. actual game. But he would, they were the Crows, was the name of their team. Mm-hmm. And so. What do I want to be like? Caca! No. No, literally, he would say, if y'all caw to me and sis, he'd give us dollars. So the oh whole gosh. game, me and sis, caw, caw. <laughs> you know, we're just going crazy. And he's just throwing, he'd just give us a dollar every time. He's like, I went to the strip club last night. Yeah. I got some leftover. <laughs> literally. <laughs> so, yeah, we t- but we talked about that because we ran into them. That's and then I, m- I made a comment um, and I said, I'm 30 now. And one of my dad's friends was like, excuse me. And I was like, yeah, I know. It just hurt me to even say it too. Yeah. Um, he's like, I just remember y'all sitting in the stands and calling. And I was like, yeah, calling. me too. And sis doesn't really remember it because she was really young. Mm-hmm. Um, but I I do remember it. And yeah, we would call in the stands while my parents played co-ed rec softball. That's cute. Good times. <laughs> um, so that was funny. And then um, the other thing was at the shower – and when we were spending time together, my friends were like, I want to come on the pod. So I think we're going to have some guests soon. Prove it. From the, yes. I'm like, all you have to do is come to Austin. Yeah. And I told Allie, all you have to do is text me when you are like, want to come on and we'll come yeah. up with what you can talk to us about. Yeah. Um. So I think we should have some guests soon. Love that. From the town of Lake Jackson. Mm-hmm. Um, so that should, that should be exciting. And then also they were like, you need to do the makeup tutorial. Cause you remember I talked about like, yeah. I was going to do it and I just haven't time to like yeah dedicate myself and figure out how the heck to film it but they're like gotta get you a ring light for home so i so i have my vanity at home that Mm -hmm. has 
My mom got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. It's like a big mirror vanity and it has lights all around it. Oh, so nice. I, I don't even think I need a ring light. Probably not, yeah. I just probably need the little Octobot thing where you stick your phone on it. Uh -huh. And so it would be recording me. Cool. So I need to get that and I need to just do it. So I promise y'all it's coming because they right. were like, you need to just do it. I'm like, I know, I know, I know. So Put it out there in the universe. I need to do it. <laughs> um, okay, that was all I had for the weekend. Okay, cool. Um, I didn't do much this weekend, but I had some other stuff I want to talk about. Upcoming this weekend, which, which will have just passed, mm -hmm. um, and this episode's coming out on Tuesday because of Labor Day weekend, uh, my fantasy football draft. So I'm very excited. Do you know what pick you have? No. So we do some sort of competition right, the morning right. of that Betty comes up with. Shout out, Betty. And then there's an anonymous you know, third-party voter who determines that. Um, so you have no idea what the competition is? No. And somebody, first pick is already spoken for. I couldn't get into group me on my phone. How, why? How do y'all The do winner it? of the loser's bracket gets first pick the next oh, year. Oh, interesting. Um, but my group me chats weren't loading anything past February. Um, but Nick asked the other day, I don't know how to log into this. Nick asked the other day who got first pick, and I don't remember seeing if anybody responded. Um I don't think it's me because I don't think I was in the loser's bracket. I think I got No, I thought close you went winning. a little farther. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll have to remind myself of that. So, yeah, I'll, all the other picks are up for grabs. We're back to a 12-man league, so mm. should be interesting. Um, very yeah, I have my second that. one um, coming up. Yep. But it's, it. it's eight-man league. That's so, so small. So it's like, it's such oh a gosh. completely different ball game. Your freaking I'm, team is going to be, be so stacked. It is. That's uh, insane. Yeah, so things, we'll see how that one things change a lot going from 12 to 10. So yes. I cannot even imagine eight. Mm -hmm. Actually, we played in, I played in a work one a, a few years back that it was like two eight-man leagues. And then like at one point it, merged? like the tournament, it merged or something. Mm. It was confusing. It wasn't in um, ESPN either. I didn't like it. Mm. Um, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I just wrote a few things down that I <laughs> wanted to talk about. I was at the nail salon the other day getting a pedicure while Sora was getting her nails done. Yeah. And this lady comes and sits by me. But I was, they were playing the jams. Uh, it's like the best. Oh, my gosh. And so, you know, when you really have to sing along to something. Yes. But you want to sing along as quietly as possible. Absolutely. So I'm singing along as quietly as possible. But like. I'm making sure I'm hitting the notes. Well, Robin, you hit the right? notes. Girl. Like I can sing in my high voice very quietly. So I was singing, um, one, you like a dream come true. Two, just want to be with you. Three. That was me and. Uh, my God, I haven't heard that song. That was Cody Broussard <laughs> and mine, so my song. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even though we were never a couple, we just love that song. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was, um. And I know you're shining down on me from heaven. I'm not even touching that. Oh, <laughs> my God. So I'm singing along like, one sweet day. Like probably even quieter than that. Yeah. Just loud enough to make a sound. And I think it was like by the third song, this little lady looks over at me and she's like, you got a voice on you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, I can't not sing along to these songs. Yep. Um, so then we started chatting and she was like, oh, that's your daughter over there. Yeah, she's she's definitely getting blue. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, I um, I got green on my nails for my goddaughter or her granddaughter. Show me a picture. I was just going into one of the branches of the military that oh, yeah. wears that color of green. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, now I'm getting my toes done. And I'm really second guessing my choices here. I ended up getting... Like I showed you last time, like that random color of purple. purple. It took me forever to pick the color. Yeah. And she's like, I was going to get the green on my toes, but now I'm thinking maybe I don't want green on my toes. Like, is that weird? And like, I'm not sure you want green toes either. It's like fungus. Yeah. That's and so, what I think of. So she's getting gel. So the lady does one coat on her big toe. And she was like, oh, no, I don't think I want it. And I was like, tell her now. Now, now would be the time. Tell her now. And so she did. And she's <laughs> like, I just want white. I just want white. <laughs> so it's just a funny little bonding moment. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was at Starbucks the other day. Yeah. And I walk in and I'm just going to pick up our mobile order. Yeah. As I do. <laughs> and, you know, I'm just in that mode. Like, go straight to the counter. Yep. Sometimes they'll do all the things for me and sometimes they don't, which... Loki pisses me off, but also I'm like, ah, eh, they got a lot going on. What do you mean, like the sleeves and the, the sleeve, stoppers? The stopper, put it in the thing. Yeah, totally. Like, I come there so often. I'm a regular. <laughs> that shouldn't they know that even though it's two drinks, if there's not the four drink carrier, I always ask for one because my hands I mean, are Robin, full. I mean, Robin, you do go there enough for them to Yeah. So, but sometimes I'll have to do the sleeve and do the stopper and put in the thing. And yeah. So I'm doing all that. And I just am hearing this person talking so 
loudly. And at first I thought it was a conversation because I'm mm-hmm. like, surely nobody's just on their phone being in this Starbucks. In the public eye that loud, yeah. This man, I turn around and he is hunched over his laptop, big tall man, hunched over his laptop with his phone, holding it up to his ear, not even like in his AirPods or any sort of headphone situation, just talking at full 100 volume. In the middle of the Starbucks. In the middle of a crowded Starbucks about the Mm -mm. actors and the script and the director and da 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 Like you could tell he was very, very important or so he thought. And, you know, I glanced at him a couple times. I kind of look around. Other people are glancing at him. And I'm thinking he's going to like, realize Clock. oh i got a little yeah. got a little animated maybe i need to take Dial it back, back mm-hmm. yeah. or like go outside or yeah. i don't know this isn't your personal office right right and so i go to you know back out the door basically and i stood there and glared at him just like this <laughs> and he did not look at me and other people are noticing and i just went uh, like i made the most oh, over the top eye roll and like Ugh, and went out the door like Somebody, I almost went up to him and and said something. Like, how inconsiderate. Like, sir, there are other people around you trying to have conversations, trying to read or do their work or whatever, but you're in a public place. So, you know, I know that some, like, I don't mind. Sometimes I'll be on the phone in my AirPods when I'm, like, grocery shopping. Yeah. But I'm not out here talking at full volume. Yeah. I mean, I'll I'll do the same. I'll talk on my phone in public, but it. I, I'm a loud person, but I know I can dial it yeah. back when I'm in a public place right. and need to. Yeah. Well, or I'm just not like getting animated about Like if right. it's something that's going to animate I'm gonna me, I'm probably getting animated, in like... I'll call you back when I'm in the yeah. car. <laughs> or I'm in like hushed tones. Like, oh, I can't believe it. You know? Yeah. Um, And then it, it also makes me think... I need to stop saying um so much. It also makes me think of whenever you'll be in a public restroom and someone comes in there and they're on their phone. Mm-hmm. I'm like, can you not? Yeah. Like, I don't know you, but it, it feels like you're airing my business to whoever you're on the phone with. Yeah, I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I go in the bathroom on my phone ever. No. At it's home, weird. sure, whenever. It's weird. But like in a public no. bathroom, I'm I'm hanging up before I go in the yeah. bathroom because that's I, weird. I answered mine the other day after I'd washed my hands. Um, my neighbor called me and I realized as I was talking to him, because it was like weird that he was calling me, yeah. right? I was like, oh, something's wrong. Right. Um, and I realized when I heard like a flush sound, I was like, oh, this is weird. Yeah. Like the person who's in there flushing. It's Feels weird for weird them, right and now. it's weird for the person on the phone when they hear a flush in the background. Yeah. I was like, oh, sorry, let me just get out of the bathroom really quickly. Yeah. Like, I was done washing my hands. That's why I answered. But yeah, yeah, th- that whole thing just really mm-hmm. irked me. Like, mm-hmm. I'm annoyed that I didn't say something to him. If I see him again, I'm saying something. If you see something, say something. I probably wouldn't have said shit. I'm going to be honest. I think I just might have gone, walked over and been like, can you keep it down? There's other people here. And that's it. Yeah. I wouldn't have, but just, I, to each their own. I just kept thinking the audacity. Of it. <laughs> um, and then I do want to correct a Robin's wrong, even though I'm not quite sure it was that I was wrong. But I feel like I, you said what perfume you wore at the end of last <laughs> yeah. week's episode. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's like such and then vibes. You, know, you made me feel a little self-conscious that I, I was wearing Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love. When I was editing it, I was like, <laughs> I didn't mean anything bad by that. And you smell lovely. Thank you. Yes. So I just, I love the smell of it and I get compliments. I so. just wanted everyone to know that, that. She was not shitting on my perfume. She doesn't smell like the 90s, yeah. okay? She smells delightful. <laughs> Thank you. So as I was editing, I was like, God. I No, when you initially said it, I was like, oh, okay. And I'm just going to keep on rolling here. And I don't even think that I meant that. I think that I was confusing it with Clinique Happy. Because didn't yeah. it have like daisies on it? Like a white flower? That sounds familiar. I don't even think that I was thinking of the right thing. Or did Marc Jacobs have one back in the day that was and popular? It doesn't matter. doesn't mean that it doesn't smell good. It doesn't matter because it smells <laughs> lovely. It's just such a weird thing I to promise. say. So apologies. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I had a couple more things too. Okay. Uh, so you know how I was like going to rewatch Desperate Housewives? Uh-huh. Just wasn't hitting. No. I hate to say this, yeah, because I love Desperate Housewives the first mm-hmm. round of watching it, but it didn't hit for me. Mm-hmm. I made it through the first season. I got to second season. And I was like, this just isn't fulfilling my rewatch needs. Yeah. you know. And so I was like, well, what am I going to do next? Oh, now this one's hitting. How to get away with murder? Ooh, Shonda Rhimes. I never finished it. A genius and a half. I I've, loved it though. It I've good. only watched it live when it was on, mm-hmm. and I haven't gone back since. So it's pretty much almost like I'm going back for the first time. Definitely. And it is just, it's hitting. How many seasons is it? Four or five? Five. I think I watched after, or I stopped watching after two. And I could be wrong, but I think it's around five. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I'm on season two right now and I am, it's a perfect, it's just really fulfilling what I needed for a rewatch show mm-hmm. to have on, like in the background and stuff. Okay, I wasn't Googling how to get away with a murder. Jeez, oh, Google. Six right. seasons, yep. Six, okay. I've been flagged. I'm on a watch list. I was about to say, your <laughs> FBI agent that's watching you <laughs> got your ass. <laughs> um, that That is a really good one. So if y'all haven't seen it, mm-hmm. this is not the rec section, but watch it. It is it's, good. It's all on Netflix um, or Hulu. I think it's on a bunch of stuff bunch of things mm-hmm. um but i def- definitely recommend it and it's a great re- rewatch as well cool let's go to the and then all right my and then mm. is book covers like textbook yes yes textbook cover i feel like at first it was like the paper one yes folded and a certain it, way and then, then it, it was, was the stretchy, stretchy like slouchy colorful, fabric crazy ones oh my gosh mm. i i saw something the other day where someone was covering their book like they just had and I do feel like at one point in time it was just paper like brown yeah and but paper. you folded it a yeah certain and there way. was a certain way to fold yeah. it and tape it perfectly and then you right. could color on it and then we could you could even like maybe at the book fair they had them more of like a glossy finish mm-hmm. kind of a thing but yeah once those slouchy like really stretchy ones came out and they would just kind of slide all around all and the rage usually come off I just remember having like lime green hot pink, oh yeah like my books were looking exciting, uh-huh. even though they weren't. <laughs> yeah, and they would just like slip out of your hands. It was like, oh, but let's think about this. I feel like everyone has colors that are associated with subjects. Yeah. So tell me what, like math, what? what green. No, blue. I was going to say blue or green. Okay. Um, history or social studies. That I'd probably go like red. Red? Yeah. Mm. Yellow? Yellow. I was going to yeah, go yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that didn't feel right. Yeah, no, I would go yellow. English, I would do like... Or red. I would go like a light, like a pastel color. Okay, English, red for me. Okay. Science. Green. Green. Yeah, yeah. that's green for yeah. sure. Um, I feel like that's like the main bucket. Those are the main ones, yeah. Yeah. Spanish. I feel like Spanish was red for me. You know, like, ole. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> I what was like- your what was your name in Spanish class? Mine was Margarita. Oh no, mine was. I uh, thought it was so clever. Mine was uh, Lucia. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, Lucia. Margarita. Margarita. Of course, you were Margarita. What yeah. am I? What are Hello. we talking about? What are we talking about? One year, Holly and I were in the same like health class or something in middle school, and we told our teachers that our names were. Um, mine was Destiny, or hers was Des- Destiny and Trinity. Those were our two. Oh my. Oh my. Our teacher called it called us that. Oh no. <laughs> so no, stupid. No. I uh Spanish is interesting because I did everyone's Spanish homework, like mm-hmm. all my friends. Like yeah. any of them were like, Kaylee, do this real quick. I could just memorize Really? I still remember a bunch of stuff. It's weird. We went to when I was God, how old was I? Twelve, thirteen? Mm-hmm. No, no. Thirteen or fourteen. I was probably fourteen. Mm-hmm. We went to Costa Rica for the first time. Cool. Um, because my, my aunt, uncle and cousins moved there. And so we're like, perfect excuse to go visit. Right. Um, amazing trip. But my family, mom, dad, and sis, none of them, no Spanish. Yeah. Nothing. Um, and they're like, Kaylee and I, what, I had two years of Spanish at that Mm -hmm. time, maybe one and a half. Mm -hmm. And so I was like having to tell the drivers where we needed to go and the, you know, the housekeepers this and like, yeah. Obviously, my probably my conjugations weren't beautiful. Like right. all the tenses are really yeah. complicated. But I could, I could get us there. Like nice. I remember specifically, we were going to this like monkey sanctuary, and I was like, "What are the words?" Yeah, and I was like, "Vamos a los monos," and like, we go to the monkeys is what that is. Uh, we go. I would have been like, "Ooh, ooh, ah." So I was, we go to the monkeys. Yeah. That was literally the only sentence I could right. put together. That works. Took us right to the monkey sanctuary. Nice. I was like, nailed it. Yeah. Um, they're used know. to you. What? They're used to you. Like they're People used like to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Me just trying to yeah. string some words together. Donde está la biblioteca? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, shoot. I was going to say something about that. Spanish class. I had the best teacher for Spanish. Did you? Miss mm-hmm. Naylor. She was awesome. So in our high school, we had two Spanish teachers. We always had one. She and was our so my 
her son like some of us was in one. my grade yeah so she was my middle school spanish teacher and then she became the spanish oh. teacher in high school so nice. she could like be with her nice. son yeah she was great um i liked spanish class it was fun. me too i it was very easy for me mm -hmm. that's I what i was gonna it. say what name did you wish that you had growing up like did you ever have like a no if my name if i could have any name in the world i wish it was this no but i can i have a funny thing to say but after you tell me about mine this. was bridget Bridget, why? I don't know. Oh. B R I D G G E T T E. Oh, you went the long way. Yeah. Bridget. Not the Bridget. <laughs> um, I don't I don't think there was a name that I really wanted, but yeah. that made God, I can't believe I'm about to say this. That made me think of what my mom wanted to name me. What? Thank you, Father. I love you so much. Dad, I love you. I love you. Um, you looked up like you were talking to God. No, I, I thought about that and I was like, Dad's Thank you, mom Father. Dad, <laughs> Dad here on earth. Um, because my mom, so they had to agree on a name, but obviously mom was like the driving voice of like right. what my name was going to be. But my dad could do the vetoes. Veto. Mm -hmm. yep. Veto. Yeah. Uh, he vetoed this. Tessa. Oh. My mom wanted to name me Tessa. You you would be Tess. Oh, a hundred percent. You know me. I'm S shortening things. Tess, 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 Tess. That is not cute. It doesn't sound good. It's not not cute. It's just Tessa? not you. Tessa and Tessa. Tessa. Ooh, no. My dad was like, "That sounds like a soap opera name. We are not naming her." That. Yeah, it and does. Was, Thank you, Tess. Cheesy. So then, mom was all on like the Keely, the K. Like she was all on the K names, and then Kaylee, and then my dad was like, "We're spelling it." Literally, my dad was like, we're going to spell it the most simple way that you can spell it. Yeah. K-A-L-E-Y. And that's it. And that's yep. how we spelled it. So thank you to dad for that one, too. Amen. For vetoing Tessa and making it real simple. What would your name have been if you were a boy? Cody. I think mine was going to be Philip. I think Cody because sis they thought was a boy for I a while. Cody. Yeah, they thought sis Phil. was going to. Phil. Hey, Phil. No. God, Philip. Robin, that would have been Phil. Yeah. That's not it. I think great. They thought sis was going to be a boy for a little while, mm -hmm. and I think Cody was the name that they had. Like, I, they knew I was a girl from day yeah. one, but they loved the name Cody. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, that's about right. But then it was, and then she was a girl, and now she's... Sis. Sis. <laughs> she hates it. She hates it, Robin. Uh, she'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all I got. Okay. Um, My and Then is a movie that was on cable the other day that I put on while I was cooking, and it is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Kicking and Screaming. It sounds so familiar. Will Ferrell, Robert Duvall, Mike Ditka, uh, the lady that plays Addison on Grey's Anatomy. Mm -hmm. um, Josh Hutcherson is one of the kids. Wow. It is just a classic 2005 comedy. I don't think I've seen it. And here's my thing. I don't always love Will Ferrell stuff because a lot of it's real dumb and that's yeah. not really my style. Mm -hmm. This movie gets me mm -hmm. and it is a staple in the McKee household. Yeah. My whole family loves it. Like, wow. if it's on, we're watching it. It must have just like whatever year it came out, I wasn't in that oh, five. realm. Yeah. yeah. I was a freshman in college. Oh my God. It is one of my absolute favorite mm -hmm. feel goods. Just laugh. We will eat Beyonce. Have you seen Get old the ball to the Italian. Have you seen Old School? Yes. I'm beginning to think that that movie has quite the elderly demographic. Like only older people Just have seen it? Just my license plate <laughs> says my boy blue. Yeah. Which is from, I drive a blue Bronco. My license plate says my boy blue. It was funny at the time and I got a vanity license plate. Okay, so sue me. <laughs> I see people <laughs> make fun of them all the time. Uh -huh. I'm like, Us. Yeah, but yours isn't like yeah. cringy in yeah. my opinion. I mean, whatever. It's not cringy. But I was walking to Starbucks the other day and this like, Older gentleman was like, I love your license plate. Oh, no. Rob I was like, like oh, oh, thanks. No, but I'm not that old. I caught someone taking a picture of it once, which someone was like, isn't that like, you know, kind of creepy to you? And I'm like, what are they going to do? Stalk me based off my license plate? Like, no, yeah. whatever. And uh, he was like, as I kind of caught him, he was like, oh, sorry. My dog's name is Blue. And I was like, sure it is. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> even if it is, like, I don't care. He didn't need to explain himself to me. Um, but yeah, I, did, I don't even like any other, any of the other. Will what Ferrell year did comedies. Old come out? I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of that kind of type of movie that, like, I've never seen Blades of Glory. Oh, my God. Robin. Or that other one where he's a race car driver. You haven't seen Talladega Nights? Maybe, like, once. I can't. I, know. I can't. I know. 
Robin. It just, it just wasn't in my like. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. I think I've come, seen that one once. I'm gonna come at you like a spider monkey. You really? That sounds familiar. Yeah, I can't. 2003. Dear eight pound six ounce. Sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, that's he all prays to baby Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ringing a bell. <laughs> and they're like best friends, but rivals. The car race car drivers, John C. Riley. Yeah, they're like best friends, but then John C. Riley like gets another steals contract his wife, or whatever. Steals his wife. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that like maybe a couple times. Yeah. Okay, I've seen that a bajillion times. That's one of those ones that I actually do like because I yeah. don't like them all. But mm-hmm. you need to watch Kicking and Screaming. It is. I feel like you and Nate would love Kicking and Screaming. Okay, we're gonna have half calf. He gets obsessed with coffee. It's hilarious. Okay. You'll love it. All right. Uh, everyone out there, watch Kicking and Screaming. There you go. Uh, it's it's wonderful. Okay. Okay, that's all I had. All right. Should we take it to the now? Okay, first up, we got a new baby in the house. Baby Beebs. Baby Beebs. Baby Beebs. Jack Blues Bieber. If that is so not the cutest cute. name you've ever heard. So cute. I was, I was shooketh. A, that they just, like, announced it so soon. I love that they're not trying to, like, be, like, a Kylie out here, you know? Yes. Keeping their their baby's name under wraps. But I was just so surprised at how normal it is. Good for them. And I think it's just cute. Like, it just flows. JB. JBB. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. So Jack is um, an homage to his father, Mm -hmm. Justin Bieber's dad's middle name. I saw some article. I didn't click on it because I was like, oh. But apparently his dad had, like, a one-word response whenever he – Heard that they had the baby. Like, I, don't, I don't. I hate that they don't have true. like he didn't grow up with him. They well, I knew that relationship. I knew yeah. that. Yeah, because I feel like he's always just talked about his mom. Yeah, it's like then why'd you name your son after? Yeah, that is interesting. It's fine. I mean, it's none of my business. But well, I like the name anyway. Cute it's name. Such a cute name. And Jack I is like such a cute. He's name. gonna be a star. Yeah, in one way or another. Jack that Bieber. Kid is gonna be a star. Jack Bieber. What does Jack Bieber do? Is he a rapper? No. No. <laughs> is he like a chef? No. Famous chef. Chef Jack. <laughs> Robin. <laughs> is he an athlete? I feel like he could be a, definitely an athlete. Baseball? No. Mm. I feel like he might just be a singer, but not in the same way that the Biebs is. Like singer, like, like cool, a model. More like cool vibes. Cooler singer. than Justin Bieber. But you know what I mean? Not yeah, so yeah, like yeah. straightforward pop. Like, yeah. I feel like... Do you think they're kind of going to call him Jack-Jack? Oh, little Jack-Jack. Jack-Jack. Oh, so I can't cute. get enough. I can't wait to see pictures. I mean, I would call him JB. Yeah, for sure. Because you know me. I'm trying to get a nickname yeah, in there yeah. somehow. <laughs> I can't wait to see pictures. I bet he's beautiful. I'm so cute. Mm-hmm. They need to do, like, the People magazine spread already. Please. Or Vogue or whatever Give the hell. Give it to us, please. <gasps> oh, my gosh. So the chicks talked about this, but um, it made me think of the fact that I brought up prank calls. mm have you seen this series on YouTube by Elle magazine? No. It's called oh, like- Oh, no, 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 no. Where they call- They prank call each yes. other? Yes. Oh, my gosh. The chicks talked about it on uh, this week's podcast, and I was like, I've never- What are they talking about? This series- Oh, my God. I've seen so many videos. It's so good. Oh, my gosh. It's crazy how famous Jake Shane is. Have you seen the one where Jonas Brother- Yeah. I'll come back to that. But have you seen the one where uh, Joe calls Kevin- Yeah. To say he's going to drop Jonas from yeah. his name. And then Kevin does like the typical older brother thing where he's like, oh, okay. Well, like tries to be supportive at yeah. first. And he's like, I just feel like we've really built something around this yeah. whole Jonas thing. Like <laughs> it's so cute. Some of them are mean. I saw the Billie Eilish one um, and she just was like crawling outside of her skin. Like she hated she do? I it. I haven't seen her. She called Margot Robbie and said that she needed a place to film a music video. And Margot was like, normally I would be so all in, but like we're actually packing up the house. Uh-huh. Um, and she's like trying to help her think of someone else. She called um, Tyler, the creator, and said that she was on a date and that she <laughs> shit her pants. Oh my God. And he's like, I'm not home. I'm in Atlanta. Um, and she's like, well, can I go to your house and use your shower? Or can I go to your house anyway? I'm right by it. And he's like, what are you going to go to my house for? And she's like, I don't know, like take a shower and use some of your clothes. And he's like, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Whenever he answered the call, he goes, oh, it is a gay man. Like that's how he answered Billie Eilish's phone call. <laughs> what in the world? He's kind of an interesting character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were know. cute. Um, She called... Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I loved Jake Shane's. Like he called Renee Rap. Oh yeah, uh, I've seen the, his uh, for a Sugar Daddy price range. Yeah, um, he called Alex Earl that the Pilates studio was going to sue him. He called Glenn Powell, and Glenn Powell was on set, and so he texted him back, and he was like, "I'm on set right now, but you can send me a voice note. What's going on?" 
And Jake was like, I'm not going to bother him. And Glenn was like, sent him a voice note like, hey, buddy, what's going on? Do you need me? So I, I can call cute. you when I leave here. And Jake was like, oh, my God. So cute. Yeah. It was amazing. I just feel like Glenn Powell's a good guy. Yeah, I do, too. I have to believe that. His voice sounds heart. just like Matthew McConaughey, at least on that voice note. Mm-hmm. I was like, whoa, it's that Austin charm. I tell you what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's something on the line or drop a line, something like that. Yeah, I can't remember. Um, but if y'all need something funny to watch, they it's are very they are entertaining. Good. Some of these celebrities, I'm like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. But I love that Jake Shane, aka Octopussy8 on TikTok, is like this famous now that he blew just, up. Oh, Charlie XCS. XCX, mm-hmm. um, he convinced her that they wanted him to charter a boat for below deck. And she was like, I already told my team no. Like, I didn't know she was British. Like, they mm-hmm. asked me if I wanted to um, do that. And I told them no. But like, if you're doing it, I'm totally in. Oh my gosh, should we be assholes? No, we can't be assholes. We should be like, blah, 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 blah. And then when he told her it was a prank, she was like, no, I'm actually devastated. <laughs> I was getting so excited. I was already like going to message my team and have them move stuff around. <laughs> So funny. Yeah, those are those are hilarious. I love that type of shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so we've got a couple things we need to recap, talk about. Yes. First one is the Love is Blind UK reunion. Yes. So I don't know how I missed that, but I watched it. Okay, good. Let me get your thoughts. Um little speaking of devastated, Stephen and what's her butt? Sabrina. That was a shock, yeah. to say the least. I would have put all my money on that couple if I had to put yeah. money on a couple. I'm really glad that they didn't do the cheesy thing that a lot of them do where they have them like do some sort of weird ceremony, like stand in the circle and whatever color the circle is, or the Brazil one where they had them like break the yeah. glass or whatever. It was just like right out the gate, the host acknowledged that they were not sitting together and they're like, and we'll get to that later. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a little surprised that Ollie and Charlotte are an item. Mm-hmm. Charlotte with an S mm-hmm. are an item, um, but good for them. They seemed legit. Whatevs. I yeah. mean, I knew he wasn't supposed to be with. And Demi, Demi is unbothered. Yeah, which so. I love. Uh, I like Cat more after that. I thought she handled things well. Sure, she was fine. She even I just don't thanked Frankie or Frankie Freddie after all of that. Yeah, I think she realized that she was being a straight bitch. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Robin, she was that whole show. Yeah. She just was. She looked a little different too. She's had some work done. A little. She's definitely had some work done. A little tightening. Done. Um, a little tightening. I thought sure. she behaved very like no, no. She handled, admirably. She handled herself yeah. well. I think when you have to go back and watch your behavior, I'm sure it is like a yeah slap in the face of like oh my god. Yeah, I love that they got to clear some things up. The only other thing I want to say, you know, she, I'll let you do your thing. What? Oh well, on her. What she's dating someone new from the pods. This is my thing. What? Why would they not cover that? She did an interview with like L- Why would they not talk UK. about that? I saw it on TikTok. It's L- weird UK. how much they don't show us when I'm you like, find why? out later. We're literally talking about like Ollie's dating this new girl. Why would they not cover that Kat is dating a different guy from the pods? How weird. Who got Probably engaged. Never... He got engaged also. Oh. He got engaged also. It's one of the couples that gets engaged that they don't show, which I also find weird. But I've never seen. Oh, I could. I kind of recognize him. Yeah. A different sh- Sam. No, his name's Jake. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. His name's Jake. Mm. Oh, fans became convinced that she was dating the other yes. Sam. That guy, Sam. Those rumors but were it's, going yeah, around. Yeah, Jake Singleton Hill. Little scene, Jake Singleton Hill. They even live together and have a dog? That's what I'm saying. Why would they not cover that on the reunion? That's odd to me. Wow. Probably because they just didn't show him enough. They didn't want us to be like, who? Yeah, that is but weird, But they though. didn't show Charlotte Makes either. Makes think that the showrunners didn't know. Maybe, like, when they filmed Reunion, they weren't dating at that Or maybe time. they were dating, but nobody knew. Like, it wasn't public yet. She hadn't talked about it yet. Maybe. maybe. I don't know. Weird. I was just like, why would you not cover that? That's Weird. odd. Um, Very strange. Anyway, go on. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, I thought the cutest moment was Nicole and Benaya, them showing, like, the, the full recap. extended, the extended cut of them by themselves after their first date ended. Oh, yeah, that was. That was so Cute. Two little weirdos went for each other. Oh my gosh! That's it was, what I and then it them. just like kept going, and they kept on like freaking out about it. Like she like looks at her arm at one point, and she's like, "Oh my god!" She starts jumping up and down. And then I'm watching him. I'm thinking, "Girl, how did you not pick him after having that reaction?" Because Sam just, I don't know. He like had some sort of weird spell over her. I swear, he knew exactly what she wanted to hear. Man, talk. Up. He was in a shame spiral up on that stage. He I was can, like, I can only imagine the amount of. Uh, yeah. He's like, I've learned a lot. I'm trying to be a better person. They're like, okay, bye. 
Yeah. Like, I can't. He did not try to make any sort of excuses or jokes or I anything. I guarantee he's gotten a lot of hate. Oh, yeah. Um, so he's probably like, yep. He was getting like, get I, out. I guess I thought I was ready for a relationship, but I don't think I am. And yeah. they literally were like, okay, thanks. Stand by. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to hear any more from you, you Aw- jerk. Awkward. Very. Um, I thought Jasmine and Booby were cute. Yeah, that was so cute. <laughs> they're cute. Yeah, they're adorable. And I like that her mom came around to him. Yeah, and she was like 110%. I saw, I saw his TikTok. Oh. And it was her. You know how she's like an esthetician or whatever? Mm-hmm. The mom? Yeah. It was her like prepping her room for her next patient. She's playing Bobby's song over the speakers. And oh, she's my like, gosh. This is how I prep for my sessions That's now. That's so cute. And I was like, oh, my God. So I His think song she's, is kind of a bop. No, it's, it's catchy. Yeah. It's very catchy. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I thought they were really cute. Happy to see that they were together yeah. for sure. They're adorable. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that that show does the whole, like, however many months later, like almost a year Me later. Too. Yeah. Me too. You have to. I will say this. It was kind of boring. Yeah. Um, it was definitely kind of boring. I don't know. It's just like love is blind. I feel like is always explosive and yeah. But maybe these people are just a lot more mature and like. I mean, British people are like notoriously polite. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, and they're they seemed very like you said mature, like a high emotional IQ situation for some, maybe most of them. Yeah. When it ended, I was like, "That's it." Yeah. Like literally. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah, I kind okay. of felt the same way about um, Love Island when. It's the same thing. Yeah. I went, that's it for both of them. It's almost like we don't need it. I think that they got the whole reunion idea from the housewives. Like mm-hmm. that's what they do on Bravo. And there's, oh my gosh, so much drama, so explosive, yelling at each other. They always have the receipts ready to well, go. Well, that's, that's how I feel about, like, that's how I think the challenge reunions are like that. Yeah. Like it's drama. Yeah. They're hashing it out. Mm-hmm. They're like asking listener questions that are like interesting. Yeah. But those people, they either were chosen f- to be on those shows because they have that kind of personality or they just love it. Like, that's how they get more followers and get more yeah. attention. I think, if anything, these people are like, oh, I've I've gotten enough attention. <laughs> like, being on one of these True. types of dating True. shows and you're just so vulnerable and you probably just cringe so much watching yourself. Oh, it would be so hard to go back and watch God. myself in, like, a... Yeah. That kind of situation. Yeah. Like when you're like situations. flirting and getting vulnerable oh, God, and would, crying oh, and making I literally just out went and getting like, busy with it. I, I like, just went like this thinking about oh. having to watch myself flirt on camera. Yeah. So I think they all are very well behaved at reunions because they don't want to get anywhere. And I mean, the That's vitriol fair. and the hatred online nowadays is just like next no, people are level. Next level. Next I kind of think that they shouldn't do a reunion. I feel like it should be just like one check-in episode after a right. year where we get to see where everyone's They've at. They've done that. I know. They did it that one season. They did yeah. like, but it was like four or five episodes yeah, they, they of done it. it. I think for two seasons. It's like after the altar. Yeah, after the altar. And that's, I liked that. That's better. So like, even if they just want to do one episode, it's like an mm-hmm. hour and a half and it's yeah, checking in like where everyone's. Special. Yes, a special. Instead of the reunion, I think they, that would be more interesting. They apparently sent cameras home with a bunch of them from Love oh, Island. They're not showing us any of that footage. Makes you wonder what that's for. Maybe it is some sort of special. Maybe. A little too soon though. I want to check in with them right. like a year later. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that's what Love is Blind. That's the timing of it. Yeah, so they should have done that. why wouldn't they do that? Yeah. If you're listening, they're not. But if you are, <laughs> uh, that's what I think would be more interesting than the reunion. It's just yeah, where all, they all just sit there on their best behavior. Yeah. No, we need to see them. Give me the one-year check-in. Give me in real life. Give me sure. them going out to a bar and having actual conversations. 100%. Like, that's what we need. Yep. For sure. Okay. Um, let it be th- known. <laughs> yeah, let it be known. The other thing, mm-hmm. speaking of the challenge. Yeah. It's back, baby. Yes, We're it here. is. Uh, I can't get enough of it, and I'm annoyed that there's only two episodes. Like, I just want to binge it. Yes, it is. <laughs> the week to week is tough. It's so tough. So season 40 is here. We talked about it. It's eras. There's four eras. Mm-hmm. So we still don't know after two episodes how the actual gameplay is going to be. We don't know if they're going, yeah. like, in a team against each other. Right. Now, they had to go against each other in the first elimination, which was like this. Like eight people? gauntlet of yeah, yeah gauntlet of eliminations right and i thought it was really cool that they brought an elimination from each of the four eras yeah. but i also was like kind of weird that they didn't assign the people from that era to play that era's elimination yeah that was they drew for it yeah but i'm like why wouldn't era one in my brain they're playing era one's elimination right balls in or yeah. whatever pole wrestle balls in yeah uh when, which one's Derek? Derek's pole wrestle i know but which era is he one. Then they did pole wrestle. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, they should have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? Yep, 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 yep. Um, but Derek is like famous for the pole so, wrestle. So they're the only era that got their elimination. Got it. The other three didn't. Got it. 
but their era did. Era one yeah. is pole wrestling. Yeah. Um, I was happy for him. Me too. So <laughs> let's talk. Yeah, let's kind of break this down a little yeah. bit further. So they had their first challenge, and the the loser from each era automatically goes into elimination. Mm-hmm. Then every then the winners from each era, a girl and a guy from each era, had to go in and decide who was going to go in elimination against them. Yeah. And it's interesting. They're living in basically a castle. Yeah, literally. And it's like this in giant Vietnam. hall area that has, you know, their table and that's where everybody kind of congregates. Mm-hmm. But then the bedrooms are, imagine, you know, I'm Romeo, Romeo out my window, but instead of a balcony, it's literally a window in my bedroom that goes down, down to, to the, the table below. And the dining room. And yeah. it's all, you know, stone and whatever, brick or whatever. It's very interesting. So very easy to listen to other people's conversations. Yeah, I think it's going to be tough for them to like hide out and find yeah. spaces to yes. shit talk for as sure. they do. For sure. Um, and there was a lot of drama in deciding who was going to go into elimination. I think for a season like this, it's hard because these people have known each other, some of them, for 20 plus years. Right. Um, and even the ones that are newer, they've been close for the last five years. Say. Yeah, and they've been in certain seasons where they're mixing with the other eras as well. Yes. Like it's not just There's like they've only across the yeah, eras. Like it's not like they've only been in their yeah. era just because they're newer. Right. And they've formed relationships with each other, romances, lots enemies. of romances. Yeah. And it's funny because like for the earlier eras that they were like enemies by now they're like it's water under the bridge but then right. they know when to turn that back on and be like well you blah 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 yeah. just for the drama of it all yeah whereas in real life quote unquote they're totally chill with them right and so it's like yeah what else was i gonna do like we fucking hate each other it's like no we don't yeah and, we do <laughs> and like they kind of just need some sort of excuse to pull out yeah. for why they're putting people in totally it's like there's no real good reason no. or at this early in the game yeah. to like make a move. So you got to pull from somewhere. Or you got to do something to like appease the majority or, like or kind of go with the, go like with the, the crowd answer, a little bit. I feel like easy answer is uh, you got second to last in the challenge. You're automatically going right. in. I don't hate that. But what if you won and that person who got second to last was your best friend? Ahem, Rachel and Anissa. Gets a little tough, doesn't it? Yeah, and Rachel and Nisa's tough because they have known each other for 20 years mm-hmm. and they dated, but they're mm-hmm. best friends outside of the show. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, if it was me and you, I'm not putting you in. No. I'm going to try everything I can to not. Exactly. Now, again, it's not my sole decision. You do have to agree with the other person. Yeah. So I would fight it for as long as I possibly mm-hmm. could. It's tricky when it's just two people. Right? It is. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, there was some drama with who went in, but we had Derek and Mark uh, from Era 1 go in for pole wrestle. So mm-hmm. Mark is, they call him the grand... The grandfather of the challenge. He's, um, he's, he's 52. Mm-hmm. And he, he looks great for 52. He looks amazing. I thought he was going to win. I he's love, huge. He's huge. Yeah. I love him. Um, always have. He's always been a character. Yeah, he's he's great. a good guy. Mm-hmm. Um, but Derek volunteered to go in against him um, because Darrell had done some stuff for Derek in real life. Mm. Um, I don't know if you Mm-mm. saw that part. but So they were struggling in Arrow 1 to decide who was going in. CT won. And then Mark was automatically going in. Mm-hmm. And then it was between Darrell, Derek, and Brad. Mm-hmm. And they're all best friends. Era one guys are all friends. Yeah. And they're like, who are we going to send in? And Darrell got second to last in the challenge. So it was going to be Darrell. And Derek said, you've done so much for me in my life. Yeah. I'll go in. That's nice. Um. So Derek was going in. And so they got pole wrestle, which Derek is known for. He is the pole wrestle king. Um. He once pole wrestled for over two hours with Joss one and season. And pole wrestled is where you literally have like a, a like a lead pipe almost. And like so it's like this is the pole and me and Robin would both just have our hands on it. Wrestle it out of each other's hands. Yep. And you have to it's two out of three. Yep. And um Derek beat Mark, who was double the size of him. Yeah. Um, because it's not just about size, it's strategy. Scrappiness. And yeah, Derek's a little squirrel yeah. in there. Mm-hmm. Um so he won. Sad to see Mark go so early. It was gonna be tough no matter who from no matter who, went yeah. home. A lot of them. I mean this this cast is so stacked that like you don't want anyone, anyone to, to go, go home. Really. And I'm obsessed with CT so I need him to just stay there, yeah. please. Yep. Um okay so then era two was oh for the girls in era one it was Anissa and Katie. Anissa and Katie and yeah. Anissa won. Yeah. Um then for era two it was I got to think about this. Kara and... I can't remember. It's not going to come to me. doesn't matter. Kara won. Yeah. Um, And then for the guys... Did Kara win? Oh, because Holly he won. went home. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then... Oh, it was Hall... Was it Hall Brawl? Hall Brawl, yeah. So... No. no that's with... um. No, that's era three. Yeah, that's that was era with... Three. Um, 
Olivia. What did they play? Oh, they, they played, played the uh, ball. The ball thing. The no, they played the uh, "Give Me Shelter" where they build the. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And the guys was um, Ryan and, and Brandon and Brandon. I hung out with Brandon. He yes, was the one yeah. I hung out with in Vegas. Yes, yes, yes. So it was the "Give Me Shelter" where they have to block yeah. the doors, and so Kara won. Mm-hmm. Um, which the Laurel Cara situation is interesting. Yeah. That's one of those things where I'm like, they're actually probably over it, but they just keep yeah. bringing it back it's hard, up. It's hard too because I've always really liked Laurel, but she does annoy me. She just takes it. It's like, all right, calm down. Yes, exactly. She just gets a little too crazy. But So Cara won and then Ryan won? Brandon won. Ryan won. Ryan won. Ryan won. And then era three was the hall brawl. Mm -hmm. And Polly and Theo went against each other. They've got some longstanding beef. Mm -hmm. Um, Polly talked a big game and got his ass whooped. So Theo Theo won. Yeah. Um, And then it was, no, that was, yes, Narice and Olivia. Yeah. And which they've got beef from last season. Yep, when Nuri, when Olivia threw her in. Yep, yep, and so Olivia won. Yeah, that uh, one, that was not really fair. And her Horacio was like yelling at her, like, just run, just run. Yeah. And she's like, how am I supposed to run when she's like clinging to my thigh? I think she was screwed no matter what. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's tiny compared. I mean, they're definitely both strong, but like Olivia is built like a, a freaking stallion. like, She's a stallion. Yeah. Like, yeah. she is from Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's just, she's tall and thick. Yeah. And like, but also very like athletic and strong. She kind of has it all. And you so have to like go try to basically pass each other to ring the bell at the opposite end of a narrow hallway. And so, so the favorite. other person just like bodies you. <laughs> My literal like, favorite elimination yeah. ever. Ooh. And then um the era four was the ball one. Was the balls in. Yeah. Um and Naya beat Amanda mm-hmm. and Tony beat. Who did Tony beat? Oh, Leroy. Tony beat Leroy. Oh, which yeah, was, that sad was sad because I love, love Leroy. Leroy. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. Um, anyway, so also I swapped those. That's era four did the hall brawl, era three did the yeah. balls in, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was a really good first two episodes. Mm-hmm. Lots of drama, lots of characters, great eliminations. Mm-hmm. I'm very curious to see how this season's gonna play out as far as like the gameplay yeah. of are you with your team? Are you against them? Or are I you think, with them for the challenge and you're against them in the elim I every time? I think I've heard Bananas talk about this and I could be wrong, mm. but I thought it was like you're – no, maybe I'm mixing it up with like the whole survivor of it all. Like that you're with them for a while and then you're against them. Second. Like you're with them up until a certain point where you're, it's y'all's – like your era versus the other eras, but then at a certain point you're like against – like it's every man for himself. Well, we talked about that, that that was our prediction. Oh, on okay. The, on the podcast we talked I, about that. I thought for sure maybe I heard someone talk about that, but I could it, be so wrong. That by the time this my... airs – this airs – by the time this episode comes out, we'll know. We'll Hopefully. know for episode three. Hopefully. I think it's going to be that. I think yeah. you're going to be as a team up to a certain point, then it's yeah. yon Yeah. Um, But I'm pumped. I love it. Uh, mm-hmm. Speaking of Survivor, really quickly. So – Season 50 is coming up. It's not the next season, but I think it's like a couple down the line. Yeah. And Jeff Probst did a interview and said that they had what they did was put 200 names of people that they would want to see back. And they're trying to like narrow it down to who they want to bring so back. Hard. Think about right. how many people have been on that show. Yeah. I bet it's a lot. Well, it's 200 people that they're, there's been way more than that. But that's he, what I'm saying. I bet it's a lot total. But they're only taking 200 to put and narrow it down from. Yes. They're yeah. like, these are the 200 we would want to see on right. our screens again. And now they're trying to narrow down Crazy. from there for season 50. And I'm like, I'll be tuning in for season 50 because. How many does it normally start with? Like how many contestants? Usually there is. That'd be cool. 30. For the 50. Like if they did kind of a similar eras type thing. So for, so for season 40, they did all the winners. Mm. And it was like, but it. One had died. One couldn't come. So it was like 36, I think, yeah. for season 40. Wow. Um, it's like the quarter quell. Yeah. That <laughs> liter- that's literally <laughs> what they did for season 40. So season yeah. 50 should be interesting. Um, I'll be tuning in for season 50. It's in a couple years, but yeah. I-, I haven't been as into it. Mm-hmm. They just haven't, in my opinion, casted very well. They're just not as dynamic as they used to be. Yeah. You're just never going to touch Boston Rob for me. I'm sorry. Right. And I get to watch a lot of the survivors I liked on the challenge now, so mm-hmm. I get my fix there. Or traitors. Or traitors, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Okay, I think that's all we had for the now. All right. To the Rex. Okay, my Rex. Yes. I have two. Okay. Uh, my first one is kind of out of left field. Bucky's mm-hmm. Chicken and Cheese Crispitos. 
Have I want you that ever? Right... No, I'm so hungry. That sounds so good. You've never had them. No. Where do you get them? Bucky's. Oh, I know that. Which <laughs> which counter? Which area? It's in like the warming pad. Like it's in the middle round thing. It's like under the heated lights. Yeah, like by like the chop chop well, sandwiches some, and it stuff. It depends on which Bucky's you go uh, into. The big one, the best drop one. Uh, yeah, it would be under one of those heated I've lamps. Never seen that. I always get like a chopped pork or Will brisket. literally change your life. It's oh. like chicken and cheese and like this crispy taquito. Stop. No, y'all. Go on. I literally go out of my way, obviously, on road trips to hit a Bucky's. I wish and that's I had the one by me. First thing I'm going to is the chicken and cheese crispitos. That sounds so good. It is literally one of the best things ever. Shout out Miss Stacy because Miss Stacy, every time she gets one, texts me that she's getting one because she knows how much we both love them. That sounds amazing. So chicken and cheese crispitos at Bucky's is my first rec. My second, I had it coming back from Lake Jackson. That's why I'm saying that. Yum. My second is, this is not new news. She's very popular, but I haven't talked about her. Chapel Roan. Mm -hmm. Been jamming her music. Yeah. Um, on the bachelorette party, me and Shelby did the... H O T T O T T O G O. Yeah. You can take me hard to go. We did the dance. Very we catchy. did it again after the shower on Saturday. Nice. Um, and I've just been listening to her nonstop. So if you have not heard Chapel Roan or you've only heard Hot to Go, I recommend listening to her other stuff. Yeah. I love Pink Pony Club and Red Wine Supernova. Those are my top two. She comes on my Spotify a lot. Um, mm -hmm. and I dig it. Um, she was in the news lately, but she's vibey for we sure. We don't have to talk about it. She was in the news. Oh, for like, about the fans. Yeah. Fans need to chill out. Stop yeah, being chill so crazy. Out. They are not your property. Literally. Okay. That was all I had. Great. Uh, similar train. Sabrina Carpenter's new album. I have not had a chance to really short and listen. Sweet. And boy, is it short and sweet. It's like 30 how, something minutes. How many songs minutes? is it? Like 10? Something like that. Yeah. Wow. Very short and sweet. I'm very excited. I'm going to her concert in a couple months. I'm very jealous. Taking Sawyer, which some of her songs, she says like, I'm horny on it. So Yeah, Robin, she's not the most... Uh, I know. And she says some stuff in that one song, apparently. Uh, you she know. does crazy intros for the song yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. yeah. So, whatever. <laughs> Sawyer's 10. She's seen it all. Yeah. Uh, so, she's super excited about that. So, her new album's great. Just, you know, light need, and fluffy. And I need to give it a listen. I like how I say light and fluffy, but it's all like, I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that she had the music video. Yeah. It's cool. It's got a Jenna Ortega. Mm -hmm. And they just basically kill each other nonstop the whole video. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Uh, the end, they're like at the guy's funeral, spoiler alert, and they're like, should we get out here? Like they like fix each other's hair and then they like walk off talking shit. It's funny. Love it. Um, And then the other thing is this show that I loved. I'm so sad I'm already done with it. I don't mm. know. There's probably another season, but it's called Girls 5 Eva. Never heard of it. Uh, It's on Netflix. It's got, I keep wanting to say Piper Paraboo, but that's not her name. Her name is the blonde chick. Um, She had a talk show for a while. <sighs> I can never think of her name. It has Sarah Bar Barialis or whatever. She was a the singer. Singer. Mm -hmm. oh. Sarah Barellis. Sarah Barellis. Yeah. She's a very I'm good not actress. Lie to a love song. Mm -hmm. Busy Phillips. Oh yeah, yeah. So here's the cast. And they were a girl mm -hmm. band, you know, back in the '90s or early 2000s or whatever. Yeah. And it's got that guy in it. Oh From yeah. Pitch Perfect. Yeah. Um, it is so funny. Okay. So they like get the first episode, you know, not spoiling too much. They get kind of their their career a little reinvigorated. Like one of the one of the rappers that just raps about whatever samples one of their tracks. Got it. And so they kind of enter back into the realm of pop culture and that just them navigating how many years have gone by and their friendship Fun. and their lives and their marriage and kids with like, are we getting the band back together? I love it. It's very f like a fast comedy. Like it's it gives me like 30 rock kind of a vibe. Okay. Um, it is just, it's so well written. I believe Tina Fey is one of the executive producers. Of yeah. Course. It is so funny. And then their songs are so bad yet so good. Like, I love that they don't, the writers did it like this to where, like, one of their songs is BPE. Okay. BPE got that big mm -hmm, energy. energy. Yeah. Oh, and then at the end, so you'll get little snippets of their songs, but then at the end of every episode, they'll play the whole song. Uh -huh. And so I'll usually hit like, I want to watch the credits. Like, yeah. don't go to the next episode because yeah. they're so funny. So highly recommend. They're not super short episodes either. And I think it has three seasons. So nice. Great show. Okay. All right. And that's all we have for y'all this week. Thanks for watching and listening. Please leave a comment. Please leave a review. We really appreciate it. Yes. Find us on all the things. Y'all know what they are, <laughs> and we'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all. <laughs>